Thanks for tuning in to our new episode of Artichokes. On our episode today, we're going to explore some of the most culinary secrets of the food world using math. In the olden days, some of the greatest chefs would break down their most prized recipes into mathematic equations in order to make them indecipherable to their rivals. This was the only way, then, of ensuring a healthy competition between the restaurants. But today, thanks to the advent of our modern friend, the little calculator, even the most cryptic Italian instructions can't not be cracked. Now, we're going to create something that's always baked and sometimes sweet. For today's equation, we're going to solve for a cake. Cakes begin pretty simply with eggs. We just need x minus 54 equals 2 eggs. That is 56. Uh, 2. The next one is a little bit tougher, so I think we will need to consult our modern friend. Alright, for flour, we need 34 divided by 5,351. I guess this is how many flowers we need. Alright. For all you sweet toothers out there, I'm sure you know what's coming next. A lot of people think it's the frosting, but it's the sugar. <sighs> I think I got it. 100 cups of sugar. Seems right. Oh, I didn't really bring that much sugar with me. I should prepare better. Well, I don't really have 100 cups of sugar, but I'm sure this will be fine. Most cooks agree that throughout your preparation, you should taste your mix just to make sure everything seems kosher. If things seem too sweet, you can always just add another egg. Thankfully, our equation for milk is a little bit simpler. X minus X equals zero. And that makes a lot of sense because, as most anyone will tell you when you're cooking, the amount of milk that you use really doesn't matter. It looks like our recipe is calling for a particular amount of hot sauce. The square root of 64 plus X equals 8. That's zero. Thank goodness. Well, we're done with the first part of preparation, that is getting the ingredients in the bowl. Now we're on to the second part of preparation, that's cooking. Now this recipe calls for a very precise cooking time, so just let me figure this out real quick. Oh, yeah. I figured this one out earlier so that I wouldn't screw it up now. That's right. 60 years. 60 years. I could be dead. I knew there was something wrong with this thing. Now I know why they don't let men of math in the kitchen in the first place. Thanks for tuning in to our show, Art Jokes. Join us in next time. for lustful thought.